Welcome everyone to the channel. Today we are looking at CKB once again on the six hour chart for now. It's April 9th, noon central time. We've got this on the screen at dperch531. Hit me up on TikTok. He says, thanks for your videos. I'm learning a lot about them. Hopefully one day I will be as good of a trader as you are. So thank you at dperch531 for the kind words. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty on CKB. First, we're going to check this one hour chart to just kind of look and see at the current status of things. Now, when I last left you guys, we were kind of in this weird uh, holding pattern. We're trading sideways. And at this point in time, it is clear that we have an ascending triangle formation. For those of you that did not see the last couple videos, I was speculating on whether or not we may be seeing an inverse head and shoulders. Uh, so uh, we could see the other half of this fill out. Otherwise, we may see another corrective wave, a double bottom or uh, a further price drop. Now, usually when you see ascending triangles form on these smaller scales, it indicates that the trend will continue. So here we have quite the downward trend. We had a smaller ascending triangle form. We gained support off that. One other thing, looking at Fibonacci retracement, we can see this thing retraced very nicely. Almost, it tried to go for the 200% mark. Uh, but we ended up getting tangled up on the golden ratio, 161.8, which is good. I'm hoping that this is the ground, ground zero, the bottom. Uh, if that is, in fact, the bottom, that would make sense uh, for this inverse head and shoulders to maybe form off this uh, ascending triangle. Uh, but we won't know till we know. Let's go ahead and discuss when we may or may not see any price action. Now, that is the biggest key I think you can try to predict uh, over price, even over price, because we can try to call out price tags all day long, but bear with me, I had a spam phone call, damn scammers. And, and if we don't, uh, you know, anybody can throw price tags around, but I would rather know about potential pivot points, uh, you know, that I can make money at uh, trading. So we have a potential, and guys, this is just speculation. This isn't financial or trading advice at all, but we have a potential, a potential Fibonacci time zone around April 10th, 6, 7 a.m., uh, let's go ahead and measure this swing high and swing low. I'm basically just measuring these swing high and swing lows of this corrective wave here. Uh, so, or this corrective uh, impulse, if you want to call it that. So we have a potential uh, pivot point or Fibonacci time zone around April 9th. And that's about 10 p.m. Central. These are both Central times. So it wouldn't surprise me if we saw uh, a decision between the bulls and bears uh, sometime within this time frame, either tonight or in the early morning hours. Uh, we can definitely, my guess is we see this thing, uh, you know, obviously move up or down. But that's my guess on this right now. Let's go ahead and look at what happened when similar circumstances arose. Now, we don't really have much to compare it to for a significant downward trend like this, but we do have a similar situation that happened back in late May. And this, folks, is when another, or another ascending triangle did form. And you can see uh, it is similar, I guess, in size and uh, at the similar price levels. 
So from here, this thing was able to launch from about three cents up to four and a half cents. So we were able to get about a one and a half cent uh, bounce, which is great. Uh, same thing here. I'm thinking if we can ride this top line, maybe the three and a half cent mark somewhere up in here, uh, blast off a penny and a half. Uh, you know, we'd be sitting right around that four and a half, five cent mark. Let's get rid of all this stuff. And assuming this is the bottom, let's run some Fibonacci channels just to kind of see where things uh, are sitting right now. Okay, so it, it appears that this uh, 23.6 line is providing some heavy resistance for us at the moment. Uh, this is on the one hour chart though. So uh, you can definitely see, uh, you know, how we are trading within these channels quite nicely. So I'm confident in this channel placement. Let's go ahead and switch over to a six hour chart. The higher the chart, the more, the higher our chart, uh, you know, you, you get the more data that gets compressed and you start to really see the true direction of which way things are going. Now let's pay attention to these indicators down here. RSI is at uh, 48.41. It's considerably, it's considered oversold, not by much. However, uh, that is a great number to be at when we are looking for a, a, a nice upward momentum move. Hopefully that's what we're looking at now. Uh, you know, the RSI will have plenty of room to run. Uh, same with the MACD, huge sell-off uh, that started. Uh, and, and it looks like the selling is lighting, lightening up. And so letting up, geez, I'm tongue twisted today. So we have that and we're hoping this MACD crosses and, and starts uh, its ascent, which would be great. I think everybody is ready for this uh, bearish stretch to be over with on CKB. Uh, so let's go in and, and definitely um, run a little bit more analysis here. So I'm going to switch back to to the three hour chart. And one thing that I noticed here uh, was that um, I'm, I'm kind of stuck right now on speculating whether or not this is Elliott Wave theory to the downside. Uh, it very well could. I mean, we do have a nice healthy candle here or uh, this is my other speculation. Bear with me. I'm just rearranging this here. Is that we might see something like this happen. Uh, but, I mean, there was a pretty large candle here, uh, especially a swing from wick end to wick end. Uh, so we may, in fact, according to Elliott Wave theory, have seen the bottom around 0.5 here. We throw on some ABCs. I mean, you could definitely, um, you know, argue the point that, okay, the ABCs have started to form this ascending triangle even. Uh, so um, hopefully we will see this thing turn around soon. Uh, but that's about all I got for you today, folks. Like I said, we're kind of in this uh, weird ascending triangle uh, test line. I say test line because uh, we need we need some forward momentum after bouncing off this 200 on the three hour chart uh, to uh, propel us upwards. Uh, definitely, uh, we will need that for sure. Uh, but until then, uh, we'll keep our eyes on this. If uh, anything crazy happens, I'll tr do my best to get on and create a video. But please, if you like this sort of TA, Feel free to subscribe. It's free. And go ahead and hit that like button. It shows me a lot of support. And I do appreciate everyone that is here. I'm sorry I haven't been able to really get to the comments or anything like that lately. Uh, I, that is something I do intend to do. Let me know in the comments below 
what you guys think of some some other alter alternative coins, things of that nature. Maybe we can check into. So have a great weekend, everyone, and we'll we'll stay in touch.